so hello everyone so getting started with basics of javascript for google earth engine so the basic concepts and example so we're going to focus on variables so variables are used to store a data value in javascript a variable is defined using a, a variable keyword followed by a variable name so the example here the variable city is assigned to this text san francisco so this is the text here and this is the variable and uh, you can print the value of this uh, value of the variable to the console using this particular option called print function so to view this particular uh, name of this uh, variable here that is the variable which stores the this text san francisco so to visualize it so we define print you are using a print function referring to this particular variable city so uh, let me uh, run this code here so uh, i'm going to click this option called run so in the console section you can able to visualize we have this uh, output as san francisco so next uh, we're going to focus on numbers so you can also assign the numbers to the variables so for example here we define a, vari a variable called population equals to 8,73,965 so now to uh, print this particular population number to the console section we use this uh, print function and referring to this variable population so the variable population is assigned to the number uh, this particular number and to view that we are using the print function and referring to this particular variable so click this option called run so now here you can able to visualize the population of san francisco so next uh, we're going to uh, see or the list particular uh, concept that is uh, list so list allows you to store uh, multiple values in a single variable so you can create a list using a square brackets separating the values with comma so for example here we define this variable cities so we are using this list uh, using this square brackets so so basically the list is used to store uh, multiple values in a single variable so you can store a multiple values so you can uh, use use to store the multiple city names in this particular variable so for that we are using this uh, list which is uh, used by the square brackets and uh, to visualize it we define the print function here again referring to this variable let me run this and now here uh, you can able to see that there is an arrow list four elements so uh, basically this is our list function and i'm going to click this so you can able to see that we have uh, managed to store the four different city names in this particular variable using the list which can store a uh, multiple values so we have stored san francisco los angeles uh, new york and atlanta so it creates a list of city names and prints it so the console section uh, will now uh, show the list with uh, each item having an index indicates the position in the list here so these are the values which indicates the uh, zero refers to san francisco and three refers to atlanta so next concept we're going to focus on objects so the objects uh, stores a key value pairs where each value can be referred uh, to by its key uh, you create an object using uh, curly braces so for example you can able to see here so we define the variable called city data so this uh, variable called city data equals to so we are referring this curly braces uh, we are using object and uh, basically the object can store a uh, key value pairs so these are the key value pairs so the city we are referring to san francisco the coordinates uh, referring to this uh, coordinates of san francisco and the population uh, mentions the population of san francisco so it stores a key value pairs where each value can be referred by its key so this is the key here so when you see any curly braces here which refers to object so now uh, to visualize the detail about this particular uh, city data so we define the print function city data so basically this particular part it uh, this creates an object with an information about the san francisco and prints it to the console section and each item uh, can be accessed using this uh, part uh, its key 
So these are the key here. And now let us visualize it. We're going to click run. So in the console section, you can able to see that we have defined object. In the console section, you can able to see there is an object, three properties. So we have this following uh, city, refer San Francisco, coordinates, referring to the latitude and longitude, and population, referring to the population of San Francisco, uh, that is around 8,73,965. So next we're going to focus on this uh, this particular uh, functions. So functions allows you to uh, group a set of operations together and reuse them uh, with different parameter. So functions are defined using the function keyword. So you can able to see here, this is the function keyword. So we define this variable called greet equals to function. We have mentioned as name here. So the function allows you to group a set of operations together and use them, uh, reuse them with uh, different parameters. So the variable greet equals to function name. So the name uh, here refers to the variable which is uh, the name that is stored in this particular variable greet. So currently it, not, it haven't uh, stored any uh, name to it. So and it's going to add this particular uh, name at last here. So uh, it's going to come as a uh, hello plus name so name so print greet refers to volt so hello volt and similarly print greet uh, refers to this reader refers to the name that is to this variable greet which is stored as a reader and hello plus name refers to the reader so hello reader so uh, this particular is uh, defines the function that uh, function greet that takes an input name and returns greeting that is uh, returns a greeting and this function uh, is then called with a different input. So the different inputs are the world and the reader. So uh, we're going to run this code here. Navigate to this option called run. We're going to click run. So now here you can uh, able to see that hello world and hello reader. So variable greet equals to function name written hello plus name. So we have uh, used a different input here. Print greet refers to this variable and we have used a different name as volt. So it's going to return as hello volt. And similarly, we defined a function as print print greet. So referring to this variable and we have the different input name called readers. So it's going to take this particular uh, input to this variable and uh, it's going to return as hello plus reader. So hello reader. So in the console section, it is mentioned as hello volt and hello reader. And last, uh, this is a comment. So comments are used to explain the code or uh, leave notes. So in JavaScript, you can use uh, this particular uh, option. So uh, to write a comment. So for example, this is a comment here. This is a comment like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So in this video, I have shown you. So getting started with the basics of JavaScript for Google Earth Engine, the basic concepts with example. So thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.